from Nashville, Tennessee, Inside the Noise Podcast with your host, Jenna Heidman. Here's Jenna. Welcome to Inside the Noise. I am your host, Jenna. And I'm Katie Kaup. <laughs> the host. The other co host. <laughs> and you're listening to Inside the Noise. We are here today with Lacey Caroline. How are you doing? I'm great. How are y'all doing? Good. We're good. You, you can good be. Good you should be good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. You're kind of quiet. Yeah. You're quieter than normal. We're very yes. loud. All right. Yeah, we we are very loud, and a lot of our guests normally are t- toned turned down a little bit too, right? Even if they're loud. Yeah. All so right, I'll, I'll I'll bring it up. Yeah, I'll... bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> bring it up. Okay. So each week on the podcast, we start with a make some noise, stop that noise. So like a good week, bad week. Um, yeah, just kick things off. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Good week. It's my sister's birthday this Ooh. week, and um, Isn't it tomorrow. Yes, Monday. Yeah. Um, but I'm so excited because we're doing like she loves cheese, and who doesn't? So, who doesn't? so <laughs> we're gonna eat a lot of cheese. Like she's gonna start her day off with the cheese Danish because she loves cheese Danishes, which I had my first one this weekend, and it's my bad week. It wasn't good. I was very underwhelmed by my cheese Danish from Starbucks. But oh, I saw you post. Then that. we're gonna do like cheesy bread. She likes pizza. Like so, oh, we're that's gonna a eat, lot of cheese. We're gonna eat throw the entire it's like day. You're going into keto. We're gonna do like matching pajamas and robes and just watch movies and eat cheese all night. I mean, hey, The Bachelor. I'm so roped in on the bench. I've watched one episode this season. One. I think we're going to do a watch party at my place. And I'm so roped in. I've listened to so many podcasts on it. And I've, like, listened to recaps. And I, I don't know. I watched one episode. Like, podcasts. And I didn't realize I do the podcast. Oh, yeah. I follow, like, the Instagram stories and gossip and stuff. Oh, but... I follow, like, five. I listened to, like, we five. We waited this whole freaking season to see him jump that damn fence. I, was, I mean, I just watched that episode only. Um, I thought he was going to get, like, But Chris Harrison cabras. threw some <laughs> F-bombs. And that was epic. No. Yes, it was. I thought it was going to be like this mad and then whist- chase, which and then, is probably going to be And then he whistled at him like a dog. He was like... <laughs> he was like... <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, where'd you go? <laughs> um, yeah. That's I like- thought like someone was going to be chasing him down or something on the other side. And I was like, okay, he's like on the other side. And then they found him and I was like... <sighs> Wait, where he was he? He was just like walking through... I think they're, <laughs> they were in... Um, where were they? They were somewhere... Portugal. Portugal. Um, sorry, it starts with a P. Question, if you guys had the opportunity and were single, would yes. you go on The Bachelor? Yes. <laughs> I can answer that, yes. Because um, guys are hot. <laughs> guys are really hot. And like, would you go on The Bachelor at? Wait. You... It's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's The Bachelorette. Um, I, I would because I think. Yes, it's very hard because you, you're, you only get like a two month span on there. That you're like with the person or whatever, but there's people like JoJo Fletcher and um, Jordan Rogers that they met on there and everything, and they did it the right way. Like they got engaged, but they still are not married, and that was like three years ago. Yeah, and like they basically told each other on the show, like we're gonna get engaged because this is what has to happen, but we're not gonna like get married until we actually fully. Because once you're off the show, it's a different. It's you're in and real you're, life, and you're thrown into like a new real life. Like well, that, and you don't have helicopters picking you up everywhere all the time. You don't have. People you're paying for these, yeah, yeah. You're back <laughs> to McDonald's or Taco Bell or whatever. I mean, realistically, all the bachelors and all the people off there have they are wealthy because of the platform they get given, right? But like, I think it's awesome because you know that, or at least you hope going in there that everybody is on the same page and everybody's looking for actual love rather than I just want to. I mean, that's the only thing I would have a problem with is thinking, are they here for me or are they here for the exposure, right? Which I feel like it, you can do that in normal life too, though. So it's kind of the same thing, depending on who you are or what you do. Yeah. So I would do it though for the experience. I mean, why not? Yeah, I think you'd learn a lot about yourself. Yeah, and you're stuck you'd in. You'd be a, challenged. The I, drama. I, I would cry all the time. You would. You'd be the crier. But I would also like be like I'm not very like into the drama, so I'd be like crying in the corner by myself, and no one would know what was up. <laughs> like, are, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> he, he smiled at me, so I'm crying. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I would just be... They would, like, put me in front of, like, just, like... I feel like I'd be the peacemaker of the house. Like, I'd be, like, okay... No, like... you would be the... She's, like, a silent but deadly one. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel She like... would pretend to be the peacemaker. No, but I would because I, I like... And they would edit her to put oh, her in a room. Yeah. And it would be, like, they clip together. It would be, like, this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey. Well, yeah, because I would be the peacemaker in the house, but I wouldn't be... I don't... Like, I wouldn't obviously straight up be like, no, I hate her. Like, I'd do it on the, like, confessional camera. Uh, I would, I'd be yeah. like, ah, she's so pretty. And then I'd be like, no, I hate her. I would like, be like the girl sitting there being like, you're dumb. 
I don't know, because in my life, I'm very much like... I don't give compliments ever to people. No, I don't either. Not I, a lot. I feel like... Okay, so I watched the first really long episode, because mm-hmm. everyone was talking about... I've never watched The Bachelor before, and everyone was talking about this season for some reason, and I don't... Because Colton is beautiful. I mean, he is really cute, so... And then I stopped liking him as much. I was talking about that today on my Instagram Live. As you watch the season, he just gets more and more annoying, and I'm like... What if they edit it like that, though? I don't care. That's what I saw. (laughs) That's what I saw. I can't unsee it. I'm like... But I feel like when I watched the first episode, I was just like, I want the sloth girl to win. Yes! (laughs) I don't care... I was, I was like, if I was Colton and that girl showed up in a sloth costume and be like, y'all can go home. Yeah. It's her. She's yeah. the one. That's there was, it. I think one year a guy came out in a shark costume. Like, see, that's what I would like, too. If I was the Bachelorette, you would obviously have more fun because you have all the control. Yeah, the power's in your corner. But the only thing that sucks is that, like, the TV, the production can make you look either really, really dumb or really, really sweet. Like, they get to decide. Yeah. Like, they can just cut stuff together that obviously was just not the way it happened, and Mm -hmm. that sucks. But I will say my favorite... Did you watch last week's episode yet? I didn't watch one until long. the one with the... The him jumping over the fence. That's the only episode I watched. The best thing was when they did the women tell all, and they had the recap video of Colton, and it was him going... Nailed it! Nailed it! <laughs> and it's like him in like a frat boy voice, like saying it literally like throughout the season like fifty times. He's like, nailed it, nailed it! And it's so funny because they just cropped it all together. You need to. I'll show it to you after. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be underwhelmed. No, it's. I laughed for a solid three minutes watching it. Like I watched it over and over again because it was so funny. It's so well put together. But that just shows you like they didn't show that in the like you didn't even know he had that kind of personality. They just show you like the really serious stuff. Yeah. So. Well, they like drama. I feel like if I was on that show, like as one of the girls after The Bachelor, I've thought about this because I'm like, well, I've been in like a relationship for four years, so I'm just like, what's dating? What yeah. is that? How do you do that? Yeah. So I feel like I'd go in there and. I'm, like, the most socially awkward person in those scenarios. Me so too. I feel like a girl would come to me. She's like, does my hair look okay? And I'd be like, no, nah, you should try fixing it. But it'd be, like, out of the goodness of my heart. Like, you asked, and I told you. And you were just and blatant she's like, about it. goes to the confession. She's like, I can't believe that she said that. And I'd be like, she asked me. I don't, I don't <laughs> I asked Lacey like, if she liked my hair, and she told me that it was ugly. <laughs> and we'd be like, no, ugly. just it fix just it. Like, I would just be like. But she would twist it. She'd yeah, be like, she told me it, it was I just, ugly. I, like, people would ask for their, I've, I've had many, uh, a friend who have asked for advice, and I feel like I'm very, uh, I don't know, on, on certain topics, I feel like I have a lot of life experience, and so I'll give them honest opinions, and they'll be like, oh, that's not what I wanted to hear. And I'm like, ugh. Oh. Oh. Well, Ooh, actually, <laughs> Ooh, I misread that one. <laughs> no, yeah, I've had that. I've had artists that go to me and they're like, "Hey, what do you think about this?" And I say, "Okay, but if only if I if I tell you my honest opinion, you can't get mad at me." And they go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." And I tell them my honest opinion. I actually lost one friend because of that, yeah, and he like, like took it so hard. hard. And I told him, I said, "You know what? You asked me for my opinion. I didn't offer it up on a silver platter. So that's." And I gave you the warning. I have it in text messages. <laughs> I have read receipts. I like have it. <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Not my fault. But, and I told and I say it nicely. It's not like, oh, this is shit. I say like constructive criticism like Yeah, yeah. Hey, this isn't what I would like really go helpful. towards. I they love ask you for help. I want to give you help. I love this part yeah. of it. You gotta do the compliment sandwich. Oh, I wow. always I always say, Okay, well this is our strength. Yeah. This is our area of opportunity. <laughs> but I also love this. So yeah. Cause you hit him with good, you hit him with the bad, and then you hit him with good again around the back that's, end. That's the sandwich. Yeah, so the ice cream sandwich. I love ice cream. Oh, sandwich. I, I, that's that gonna like be. Totally popped in my head. I'm oh just my like, gosh, guys! Lacey, don't word vomit today. Ice and cream was. sandwiches. Well, that's fine. We're gonna go right into off the record confessions, mm-hmm. um, because that just made me think of something. Okay. So off, we like confess something weird or Did embarrassing. Did we even finish? Make some noise. No, I just skipped over you guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's all that mattered. So uh, literally, <laughs> at least went too long. That's and cheese. <laughs> um, okay, so off the record confessions. I have one. So I tried sliding in a guy's DMs. And I asked him if he wanted to go. You cream. tried, you did. No, 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 no. That's a different one. Oh god! I wish there was videos. So I was see my face right now. <laughs> I said like, hey. She she texts me whenever she's drunk. And she's like, I slid into this really hot guy. I'm like, why did you do that? And she's like, I am gonna have him on the podcast. And I was like, did you oh slide? my gosh. Did you barge? Did no. you kick the door? So, she barged. Like- no. So that one was an accident. I was viewing the story. Accident. I was oh, viewing. So- I was. She wrote a whole paragraph <laughs> asking him to come on the podcast and saying how hot he was by accident. I was accident. like viewing the story and like you know how like. 
the things pop up on the bottom where it's like heart fire. I hit the fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> yeah, but fire is fine. If so, you did like a hard eyes, that would be yeah, weird. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> I wish hey man, people you want, got a it. message? Just send it. Yeah, just <laughs> it was send it. But I did ask a guy to get. I, I don't know. It was I was a little tipsy, but I like slid in and started the conversation, and then I was like, "We well, like, would you like to get ice cream? Get ice cream? Oh, no, that's good. That's good. You come in, you come he in, real strong, and then you soften it up with he some read ice it? cream. Uh, I, yes, he read it. But then I unsend it, thinking like maybe he'll think he's crazy. <laughs> it was never there. No, because if, if he read it, it's still on his side. Even if you unsend it. Ooh, that's It just well, erases from yours. Here's what Ooh. I think, too. Everyone Ooh. loves ice cream. If you don't love ice cream and don't want to get ice cream, then you're not fun. No, but I will say alcohol does wonders and that stuff because but my last I two started, exes I've asked so I don't via, like, text message or DMs because I was just, like, liquid, liquid yeah. courage. And I, I don't like, usually Yo, slide into drink? DMs. I have no game, clearly. But um, I started the conversation strong, so I'm, I feel a little more confident, and I just know where I need to improve for next time. <laughs> yeah. areas, I, of, I, areas of opportunity I always get Whenever I get t- texts from Jenna After 12 o'clock I don't respond 12 o'clock at night I sent her like 40 of them Two in a row She sent me like so many So many blue bubble Or uh, gray bubbles And I was like Oh gosh And it's drinking She's like I slid in this guy's DMs I was like nope Not responding till tomorrow morning I said are you sober today Question Okay so are you the Send 16 messages in a row yes. All one thought Or are you like One cohesive Oh, no, message. I'm all over the place. Yeah. Like, or usually it's like... The squirrel. What? Oh, yes. yeah, by the way, I sent this message. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did this. Yep, oh. it's it's yeah. it's like that's the way my brain works. And all of a sudden, then I'm like, oh, shoot, I definitely overwhelmed everyone. Yeah. My boyfriend is like, he's always on me about that. Because I'll be like, okay, so this is what happened. Send. <laughs> and then this happened. Send. And then I totally reply with this. Send. And he's like, can you just make one message, please? See, I'm a one like message on person. He's like, ding, ding, yeah. ding, ding. I'm not. I'm a paragraph. I'm a paragrapher. Like, yeah. I send, like, a paragraph. And then if I think of something else after, I'll be like, oh, by the way, this is, like, completely different thought. Blah, 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 blah. And then you'll have two different thoughts. But for the most part, I'm like, unless Good. we're, like, talking back and forth. Like, if you respond as I'm typing, then I'll, like, respond. And it will be, like, a lot. Because, like, she'll respond while I'm typing something. Like, answering what I'm typing. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I give up. Yeah. But um, that's my confession. Wow. If you guys want to share yours. He's the DM. My confession. The DM. Yeah, I slid in the DMs. I got denied. He didn't want to go to um, ice cream. My but... confession is that I, I'm extremely attractive to one of the people that were on the podcast in the last couple. I'm sitting things. right here, Katie. Lacey. I just, <laughs> I really needed to tell you. <laughs> you need to break up with your boyfriend. I had- you I'm know. bored. <laughs> oh, wait, or is it? Break up with your boyfriend. Yeah, I'm bored. That makes sense. Aaron Grande, it's way Break over your head. Break up with your boyfriend. Okay. Because well, uh, I'm bored. bored. <laughs> we're on the same page. Not. This is why it. we're, um, <laughs> I'm attracted to Lacey. <laughs> okay. That and my okay. boyish good looks. I was like, what? <laughs> I will say that's my confession. There you go. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, so, uh, boys, if you're listening, I'm going to tell you every- <laughs> And you've been on the podcast. every man that's been on the podcast- Oh, great. Katie's Sean Stanley's going to call me and be like, are you attracted to me? I'll be like, nah. He would be the one to be like, she's attracted no, to me. that mullet, though. <laughs> I love Sean, like, but not like that. So there's a chance. <laughs> there's a chance. <laughs> I'm going to, oh, gosh. I'm going to get liquid courage, I bet, whenever we hang out next, and I'll probably say something, but it's fine. Okay, and I'll be there. Yeah, you will. Has Has anybody created, I mean, and if not, we can delete this from the podcast and just do it ourselves, but has anybody created an actual alcohol called liquid courage? I'm sure there's got to be something. There's got to be one. Because if not, I'm Amazon. I'm looking up not, on Amazon. Amazon, we split. Just if saying. not, <laughs> and all right, Amazon just delivers it. <laughs> Liquid. Courage. Legit. Courage. Okay, nothing's coming up. Liquid IV comes up. <laughs> oh yeah, that that helps with hangovers. So. Uh oh, it's nope. There's a glass bottle that you can put alcohol in. Um, a bachelorette I think we're on flask to something here. Yeah, that's it. Liquid Courage is just like a bunch of flasks. Take a little Liquid Courage. Ooh, there's a koozie that says, I love Liquid Courage. Same. Okay, Lazy, okay, do you have anything to your, confess? What is, yeah, oh, what are your gosh. confessions? Um, These are my well, confessions. Well, where do I start? Uh, Mom, turn off the podcast now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's um, where it stops. Turn around. Well, so speaking of ice cream, so last night I, well, yesterday I, I did my run. I was into working out, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to do my run. It's going to be awesome. And then went to a mall, got some chewies with a good friend of mine. 
And I was like, I feel terrible after eating Chewies. No offense, Chewies, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great in the moment. The after effect is kind, yeah. of, kind of rough. But um, so I get home and I'm like, man, I really want ice cream. Really want ice cream. There's a CVS right next to my house. Oh, wow. So I was like, okay, all right. We're going to reel it in. We're going to get the Halo Top. There you go. I was, right? I was justify it, the Halo keep Top. Keep it on the safe side. Dairy free. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I walk in there. First thing I do is I walk up to the Halo Top. Right next to the Halo Top is the Ben and Jerry's. And I'm like, so much better. And you're just looking back and forth like. I know. I'm like. Every time no. I see it. That's my biggest dilemma. Except that I really like Halo Top. Like, it doesn't bother me at I, all. I do, but then like. It, but next to Ben and Jerry's. Next to Ben and Jerry's. I mean, yeah. yeah. Ben and Jerry's has always been there for me. Whenever I'm going through my period. Yeah. It's great. Shark week. Shark week. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey man, I can take Ben and Jerry's any any week. Yeah. But yeah so, I, so I got I literally I was that person standing there with the two like or like <laughs> two or three different flavors of Ben and Jerry's comparing the calorie count, being like, Well, this one only has two hundred and eighty calories per half a cup. <laughs> but I, but I'm per like serving, I'm gonna eat the whole seven thing. servings in this. So. So, so I'm sitting there being like, Okay, 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 okay. Only eat like a little bit just eat. to taste that does not happen. Every yeah, I ate the whole thing. Every time I ate the no whole thing. No one does just a taste of Ben and Jerry's. I, the whole thing. I felt so bad because when oh. I put it into like, like my fitness pal. Oh yeah. It was like one thousand two hundred calories. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I, I regret every decision. I was like, oh man. So I've, I've literally like held on to that guilt all day today. <laughs> because oh, hey, no. it's okay. Um, if you do it every once in a while, it's not bad. Yeah. I love ice cream though. I do it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember Chattanooga. I love ice she got cream. Ice cream in Chattanooga, and she kept trying to pay with a broken debit card. Hey, I used that. And I literally debit. was like, "I'll pay for I, it." My debit card is literally broken half, and I. She used only it. does it because she wants people to pay for her stuff. I uh. used it at Trader Joe's the other day, and the chip didn't work. Like, if you put it together and stick it in the chip thing, it so usually works. Chip. And like, I goes, "Try swiping it," but I couldn't really. It like it worked though, and I celebrated. And then I went to go pay for something at a gas station. I have a different debit card, and I like was gonna use my non-broken one and I pull it out and half of my other debit card falls on the ground he goes you dropped something and I think I said just have my debit card and he was oh my like gosh. Hey, uh, did you go out last night like what's wrong with you like, like every night of my life I'm like no out. it's been broken since December and I just don't want to get a new one I should just get I mean, that's a commitment. Like, when you get a new debit card, you got to, like, change everything. It's my small town bank in Illinois. It's going to take me, like. She's just lazy, though. It's not even that. It's just that she's just plain doesn't want. cover her right here. No, I'll cover her. She can go get a new one. She's a big girl. I'll call the bank tomorrow. (laughs) But you said last month. They're going to be like, no. No. (laughs) You don't need to spend money. Well, that's not a a bad. (laughs) That's very true. It's not a horrible. Like, actually, your bank account looks way better these last few months than it has before. And I think it's because it's broken and you can't use it all the time. So we're just going to not fix it for you. You've just reallocated to online shopping instead. Yeah. (laughs) For real. So that wasn't a horrible confession. That was good. It feels horrible today. I mean, but it's fine. It'll go away by tomorrow. Hopefully. (laughs) There's a lot of calories in that one. (laughs) That was a lot. amazing. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> but, this is a really long intro of a lot of talking. <laughs> so now it was a real even an intro here. about everything oh, yeah, besides your music. Right. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you're an artist. Whatever. I forgot. Yeah. What is we thought now? we were having girl time well, yeah. talking about the Bachelor Here's, and ice cream. I, I was so excited to have you on because we don't have a lot of girls oh, on. Oh, yeah, we don't. So I, I, I literally was like, oh my gosh, we have so much girl talk. <laughs> Not, and ice cream. Jenna's like <laughs> fantasy world perfection. Like her heaven is having a sleep overnight. Like just sitting and talking about girl stuff and eating ice cream. And I'm a look big, at how happy she just got. So She's, I want to do matching pajamas, pizza, oh ice cream, and I'm a big person of like I like taking the mattresses off beds and putting them all on the living room floor. And I like that. On the floor. That's my favorite yeah. thing yeah. to do. Favorite thing. Okay, like, so your music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anyway. Yes, Lacey. Your music. Tell us about the new release. <laughs> <laughs> When's it coming out? All that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. The new I have a new song coming out. Um, it'll be pre order is March fifteenth and then the single comes out on March twenty ninth. Cool. So I'm really excited. I don't know when this airs in terms of like timeline or whatever, but uh, I think we're airing this one sometime <laughs> probably next Tuesday. Probably. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so probably. sweet. Yeah. So Most the song's likely. called Dirty. Okay. Um I wrote it with uh, a friend of mine, April Bender, up in New York. And speaking of relationships. <laughs> there um, you go. Yeah, so I had been, uh, be, uh, be wary of dating musicians. Oh, I've done it. We're a fickle there, bunch. <laughs> we actually have all done it. Yeah. All dating musicians. Yep. 
So I was seeing this guy, and I'm like a very, I don't know, call me old fashioned, but I'm like, if I am interested in you, and I'm, hey, like, I tell you, like, you're the only one that I'm seeing. Right. And he's like, hey, me too. I kind of, like, go with that. Right. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, like, you should. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not really, like, the big open relationship. Like, I've always been in, like, I don't know how to think about it. It's always been, like, long-term relationship, break, long-term relationship, break, long-term relationship, adopt dogs. Oh. Yeah. So, and so far, no break. Which good. Is a good thing. But, <laughs> but, so, um, so as I was going to, I, I, ha- I had a show in New York the day before I went to this ride, and a friend of mine came to see me at the show, and she was like, hey, I got something to tell you. <laughs> and so, turns out that she had gotten wind that the guy that I was seeing while he was on the road... He was hooking up with a lot of different girls, Mm -hmm. and uh, I just didn't see that one coming. Like, I I was expecting more of, like, of just, you know, I I just, I've never really understood the cheating concept, because it's like, hey, if you don't like somebody, just, like... Yeah, just say it. Let him know. Break up with them. Yeah. Break up with your boyfriend, because I'm bored. (laughs) Break up with your boyfriend, (laughs) Uh uh-huh, because I'm bored. You gotta get educated, girl. (laughs) But, uh, (laughs) so, yeah, so I was, like pretty man getting getting cheated on is such a weird feeling because what what i always feel like we do is we put it on us like they're the ones that cheated but Mm -hmm. for some reason we always fault ourselves right and uh you know i got so bummed and the next day i went to my right and i had never met this girl before we were set up through uh her manager and uh i show up at her her house and She's like, hey, my name's April. I'm like, and I'm like, she can see it on my face. Me like, hi, I'm not functional right now. Yeah. I was like pretty distraught over it. And uh, and I had like learned the day before. And so I sit down. And I'm I just like start telling her about, you know, hearing that news. And she looks at, at me and she's like, you know, like how's that make you feel? And I'm like, I just feel really dirty. And she's like, and there's our song. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, it was pretty neat. Um, We wrote it in about two-ish hours. Um, We hadn't finished the bridge, and I learned that day um, via the scolding of my father that if you want to get from Long Island to Newark, even though Manhattan is only three miles long or wide, it's going to take longer than an hour. (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) So, as my dad came to pick me up, from her house and drive me to the airport to catch a flight back to Nashville. It was literally like nonstop traffic, all just through Manhattan. I should have known better. <laughs> known. But um, so in the in the traffic, I'm like panicking, freaking out. I get on the plane and I sit down, and uh, I, I made it. I literally ran through the airport with like with my shoes untied. And oh my, my like, gosh! Boots, and they had like the massive laces, and you're just like flopping everywhere. Like I gotta get on the plane, and so I get on the plane. And I'm like de-stressing, and sometimes like as a writer, if you think about something really really hard, it just it's like the tongue, um, it's on the tip of your tongue syndrome. Mm-hmm. And so when we've been writing the bridge, you know, we wrote the whole song, wrote the chorus and the verses, and then it's like the bridge. We were just kind of. <laughs> Like fussing on it too long and then we kind of got stuck and then I had to leave so I sit down and it's like I was so relieved that I got on the plane and I was like oh man and then the bridge came and popped in my head wow yeah that's cool that's so cool I like I like made a voice memo of it like sitting in the plane I remember it was southwest because the lady walked by and she could <laughs> tell how freaked out I was because I almost bust the plane and I was like she's like do you want anything to drink I was like I have a Jack and Coke? (laughs) And she was like, sure, sweetie. So she goes and gets it to me. And then I'm, like, recording it. And I was like, oh, good. I drank the Jack and Coke. I passed out for the rest of the (laughs) day. And she was – I remember the stewardess is so nice, too, because I, like, when we were about to land, I was like, I have to pay for my drink. She's like, you're good. You're good. Just like it's on me. Yeah, it was like, oh. 
but that's why I love Southwest. Shameless plug. There you go. Yeah, Southwest is the best. Well, last time I flew on Southwest, they gave me a free drink. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a drink to get. I just sometimes think they maybe they just it's shorter flights and they don't want to go around and get my like. <laughs> Like, here, just take some alcohol. Yeah. Take all the alcohol. <laughs> they just take it. Uh, yeah. Well, that's cool. Do you want to play the song for us? Yeah, yeah, sure. That'd be awesome. All right, cool. Now I got Aaron and Grande stick in my head. There you go. It is Bye. not that kind of song. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you ain't that kind of girl. Ain't that girl. Ain't that girl. <laughs> that's my other one. I know. I was in the music video. <laughs> Duh. Throw Duh. <laughs> Throwback. The back of my head's in it. Wait, I'm, that what? My head is in a lot of music videos. She hurt. No, the front of your head, too. Was it the front <laughs> of my head? Yeah. I don't remember. I just remember we went to the back corner and she filmed her last music video for Ain't That Girl. Um, Austin Peckham filmed it for Create Nashville. Yeah. And uh, he was like, hey, we need extras. And that's actually how I met Lacey. Like, I didn't yeah. know Lacey before. Oh, that's so cool. That. Mm-hmm. And ironically, the plug was the fact that she ain't that girl. They ain't that song. She ain't that girl. Ain't Get that it? Girl. Uh-huh. That's about a totally different type of type of night yes <laughs> i get it <laughs> i'm just slow today um so do i just kind of he's gonna pick it all up yeah should yeah okay. mm-hmm. um let me think about this should i be quiet is the, the level's gonna get messed up or just kind of should i like pull back no you, sh- you should be good you should be good to go all right so this song is called dirty Cheeks in a sin with a little night. You caught me with a gentleman's stare, armor shining. I was blinded. Days when you'd bring me flowers, nights when we talk for hours, driving with the stars around us. Hair yeah, you had all the power, the way you'd pull me in with all that sweet talking. It left some bitterness. I can't wash off my skin The one we had was so spotless and clean Thought every touch was so perfect and sweet Till I pull back the shades, I pull back the sheets I didn't think you'd do this to me But now you left me feeling dirty Left me feeling my hand in front of your friends and I ignored what they said about you that you were bad news hoping it wasn't true what were your intentions the signals you were sending you picked me from the crowd I won't be a notch in your bed the one we had was so spotless and clean but every touch was so perfect and sweet till I pulled Pull back the sheets and think you do this to me. But now you left me feeling dirty. Left me feeling dirty. Well, I guess it's good girls finish last. Cause you're the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, we can put it in the past But that won't change the fact you had your lips on hers like I could see it But I saw everything The one we had was so spotless and clean Thought every touch was so perfect and sweet Till I pulled back the sheets, I pulled back the sheets Didn't think you'd do this to me me feeling
Great freaking song. That is a great Thank song. You. Whoa. <laughs> I get that feeling, though, because I've been cheated on twice. Me too. And that You feel dirty. Like, you feel like... You're like, oh, man, like, oh. you, like, somebody else. And yeah. And like, somebody else has been touching you, and now you're... No, no, you know? Like you said, just just break up with me. If you don't want to be with me, just, it, I'm a big girl. Get over it. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Like, I'm better No one gets, way. like, that hurt by... Like, you. I'd rather be broken up with than cheated on. Yeah. Oh, for sure. No matter what. Cheated on is just, like, disrespectful at that point. Yeah. It's like, how yeah. Much I'm trying to, really like, think of a... someone if you cheat on them. Yeah. Yeah, That's well, it's just, like, a human about. respect, I feel like. It's just, like, like especially if you've been together for a couple of years, like... Yeah. I, I just mean, don't... I wasn't together with this guy for that long, but I was just, you know, there was that trust. Right. Like, once, you, once that trust is gone, then, like, it's gone, sorry. Yeah. That, that ain't coming back. Once a cheater, always a cheater. That's true, too. That's true. <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to figure I'm it. trying to, like, think of... <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> I mean I've never been broken up with I'm only broken up but like I've been cheated on twice so technically like yeah. they broke it they broke I had a guy it. break up with me once and he did it in such a sweet way where it was like he was a very religious guy really really sweet and uh, we met at church and so he was just like we went on a couple dates I met his family and uh, you know he's just like very politely was just like i just don't see you as a person i'm gonna marry yeah that's nice. yeah and so he's like i'm dating for someone i'm gonna marry and so he's like but i just he's like i think you're a great girl but you're just not that person you're not my me. girl yeah yeah and he's like so you ain't it's that girl. Best. I, I ain't that girl. <laughs> there's just so many i can make so many references to that song yeah man no but i get that like i need to marry like that's yeah, my thing I like thought it was such a polite polite way to, i'm like i'm not even mad yeah, like, good for Cause you. Because if you can just, right. I'd rather someone just tell me straight up than lead me on longer too. Because then, like, yeah. you get even more emotionally into it and all that stuff. Like, I'm one of those people that's just like, hey, like, in the beginning, I thought we could work out, but like, the more I just see us together, it's just, yeah. it's not gonna like your world is so different than mine, or like, you're such a different person. Like, I, I love you as a person, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't. Ba da da. <laughs> I don't know. Jenna's is looking at me like a little schoolgirl. She's like, "What? <laughs> no, I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm trying to think. Because you said like you said dirty. Like I'm trying to think of the word that I thought like I felt when I was cheated on. Like, oh, I, I can't pissed. even remember <laughs> how I felt. Like, I, I just felt <laughs> like you know that feeling when your heart falls through your butt. Like when you're, yeah, the pit of your stomach. Yeah. I yeah. like felt sick. And then the, in that, I felt dirty. Like I felt like knowing that he touched other people. Yeah. While touching me. And I'm like, that you feel dirty. Like, you just, just like disgusted. Dirty. Like disgusted. Yeah. That's mine. Like disgusted. Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't even look at him. It's like, yeah, it's like when that stuff happened. Like I remember I had a boyfriend who, it was like a really turbulent relationship. I was really young. When I say really young, I was like I was like eighteen, but it was like at that pivotal time of like I was just getting into college, and you know it was probably I think tw- 18, 18, 19 to twenty one, mm-hmm. so like really formative years for yeah. a person, and uh, yeah, like I remember he uh, I found pictures on his phone, <clears throat> and. Uh, she was really pretty too. That was like the worst part. Like, <laughs> You're like, I get it, <laughs> but damn. Yeah, that sucks. And it was just, uh, it was you know, the idea of not being good enough for someone. I think is like very scarring mm-hmm. for yeah. a person. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm really into these books. Like, if you're the four, the four agreements. You've never heard of the four agreements, mm-hmm. but there's also one called the Mastery of Love, and it talks about like. <laughs> I'm not into like reading. Does it talk about, about the DMs. Love. Doesn't talk about the DMs. DMs. But it talks. It just like talks about like not taking it like if you're cheated on something. Like, it's nothing to do with you. It's something that they have mm-hmm. like that's going on with them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a great book. Yeah. I I suggest it. When I uh, talk about the magical kitchen. <laughs> what is that like the cooking version of the magic school bus? Is it like the medicine version? <laughs> I don't know why. And like I like bookmarked and highlighted the crap out of this chapter. <laughs> But it was like talking about this magical kitchen that keeps giving you pizza. 
<laughs> I'm not going to nail yeah. this one on the head. I'm going to do some Googling. Please, someone else talk. But no, I, I had a – so when that whole guy <sighs> thing happened, my sister, who's a couple years older than me, she gave me really good advice. She's like, those those folks that, you know, fall into that pit, it's because they they have a void that they're trying to fill, and it's not you. It's, it's always going to be like them. Yeah. You know, like, if they love you and you're screwing up, like – a lot Usually of times that communicates or yeah. people break down but they don't break down like a that. lot of times people just don't know how to bring it up they don't want to be the bad guy that's the biggest thing that yeah. i've seen it's just like they don't want to be the one to break your heart but i'm like you broke my heart anyway yeah by doing that so like it's like oh like, breaking up with me is like worse, worse than, than cheating on yeah. me yeah like, i'm like what? grow some balls because then now i broke up with you not, and i'm still un- not broken up with you <laughs> yeah it's like i need someone to break up with me yeah hey katie you want to date I apparently remember I'm attracted to somebody that's on right, the podcast. Cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can date and then it's not working out. So. Oh, oh. Okay. I will be so. your first breakup. Oh. I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> oh. I just ain't that girl, I guess. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have you guys both read this chapter and you guys oh, can report gosh. back to me. We'll start a book club. Um, I love book clubs. Katie, I'm going to buy you the book for your birthday. I know you asked for Wrangler jeans. <laughs> so you're getting no, the book. I honestly don't need Wrangler jeans. Do not buy me Wrangler jeans. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know. It's a great book. Great read. Um, I'm deep in thought. It's that magic kitchen. It's the magic kitchen. Magic kitchen. Okay, so what can we be expecting? So, obviously, <laughs> the single's coming out. Yes. Music video? Do you have a music video coming out for it, too? Um, yes, there will be music video for awesome. it. Awesome. Cool. Cool. And um, then, looking forward in the next couple months, what after that, like, what can we be expecting um, from Lacey Caroline? Well, I'm in the studio right now working on a lot of demos, trying to figure out what um, other songs that I want to cut. Um, uh, I have a, a few more su- singles that'll be coming out after Dirty. So in the springtime, it'll be, I'm trying to think, uh, the music video after Dirty, and then um, it'll be another single that comes out, and hopefully, music video for that one. Still okay. trying to work out those kinks. Cool. And then I have some other stuff in the works that I can't really talk about yet. Ooh. We like stuff in the works. Okay, yeah. let's go back a little bit to like, Ooh. where are you from and how'd you get into music? Oh, I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Which most people don't expect. I could see that. My whole family's from Philadelphia. I have yeah. a lot of cousins and stuff in New Jersey. Yeah, you're very normal. You give me yeah. like a very New Jersey vibe just oh. because I know people from New No, 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 no. Not like, <laughs> like Jersey Shore, New Jersey. Like I'm talking like. Whatever. Just like good people. Like I don't know. Like north. We're very honest people. Yeah. We are very. <laughs> I mean, very so when honest. I was growing up, I was just like, just tell them how it is. Mm-hmm. But when I moved down here, people are like, no, you don't tell them how it is. <laughs> you just Bless your heart. That. Yeah. Bless your heart. Yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm from Jersey. Um, I got into music, so. Um, how do I put this? <laughs> so when I was much younger, um, probably about like middle school-ish so in middle school all through high school I was picked on a lot like I was basically couldn't like I was one of those stories you hear of like faking sick so you don't have to go to school because the kids just make life such hell oh mm-hmm. sorry Did I say oh no you're, you're good, good. um <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> but um but yeah I, the and it's for such dumb things but I mean my uh, you know I've I always make my mom drive me because I'd always get stuff thrown at me on the bus. Um, people would, you know, say, call me names. Like, it all comes from kind of, well, I wasn't exactly, you know, the most fashionable person. I mean, I don't think anybody beside like, before you our guys, day. Guys, I didn't wear, like, jeans until, like, eighth grade. <laughs> I wore, like. I wore skorts. I Oh Dude, my I gosh. love skirts. I wore skirts like awesome. their pants and their skirts. Just athletic. I used to wear the little Velcro things to like put my sleeves up. I was very much of a tomboy and like very athletic. Yeah, <laughs> little Velcro. I used to do that for lacrosse. Yeah, I used to do that. Oh, so like I was such a tomboy, but like I wasn't athletic at all. So it was like I was just a weird tomboy. Um, but my mom. So my mom was Miss Washington State in the Miss USA pageant. Oh wow! And my sister was Miss Sparta, the town I'm from, in Miss Sussex County. So she was going to go do the Miss New Jersey thing, but she didn't want to. Um, both beautiful, both pageant queens, both hair and makeup style. And I was ne- I was such a little black sheep. Like, I was nothing like them. And, uh, you know, so all the kids all the time would just pick on me. So whenever I walked home from the bus, I always had my headphones on. This is back when you had Discman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like CD players. Yep. And, um, you know... 
you put them on and all of a sudden you were just in a totally different world and all the all the boys that were sitting in the back of the bus that were throwing stuff at me like literally i had a can of spam thrown at me once oh my yeah, gosh not even kidding ew <laughs> so it would have both but spam is disgusting yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. um but like none of that existed anymore the second i put my headphones on so um i was walking home one day i'll never forget it was a colder day and there's this gust of wind, and I was listening to this acoustic record from this band called The Early November, like a pop punk New Jersey band. And um, there's just this feeling came over me that I was just, I just got really emotional. And I was walking home from the bus, and I just remember that cold breeze came around as I was listening to this, this song, and I was just like, I need to do this. I was like, I need to give this feeling to somebody else. Like, this feeling of emotion, of comfort, safety. Like, I need to do that for someone else. And, yeah, then I asked my mom for a, a drum kit. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> so I got an acoustic guitar. <laughs> it was $100 from the music store in the town over. It was like a, I'm pretty sure it was a pawn shop now that I think about it. <laughs> a music store, 100 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> for a guitar. But, um, but yeah, and then... You know, I, I sat on my floor in my bedroom, and six months later, I had written an entire CD. And, uh, yeah, I started, and then right after that, I started recording demos with uh, some senior in his basement. Oh. His name was Chris. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chris, shout out. Yeah. Shout out, Chris. New Jersey. Chris that's from so New Jersey. cool. Yeah, so, and that's kind of how it all started. And then after that, it was just down the rabbit hole <laughs> of songwriting and playing, and then I... So New Jersey's really big on bands, especially um, when was that, like the 2000, 2000s? So you had New Found Glory, Fall Out Boy, Was Blown Up, um, Census you know, Fail. Wait, do you know Action Item? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird, no one ever knows Action Item. You are such a, you are no, so happy right now. Because I literally you're, was like, you're so I have a funny story about right them. now. Wait, tell me. So oh my gosh. when all these bands were the big deal, I wanted to sing in a band. I wanted oh to be... Gosh. In a, like a pop rock band and this was like before paramore broke out mm -hmm. they were like a thing but they weren't what they are um and so i was on myspace and i was like looking for bands <laughs> and on i'm not even kidding i now i'm dating myself sorry guys uh, <laughs> but yeah so i was looking for bands so there's this band in new jersey and i was probably 16 or 17 at this point um but no band wanted a girl singer because they didn't want to be an Avril Lavigne band. Yeah. And so I remember Action Item had just broken up with their male singer. And I messaged Brian. No, it was Anthony. Anthony is the one who Anthony applied Lee. to me. Anthony Lee. Anthony <laughs> Lee. I still have his number. I, I, I texted him uh, quite a bit a couple years ago. I will say, he's holds his manager now. I know. So. He doesn't really get back to me that much being on the Forbes. Mm -hmm. 30 out of 30, but whatever. Whatever, Anthony. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, they, they got You're just the reason the whole like, band broke up. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know, I'd love to sing for you guys. Like, I like to think I'm a pretty good singer. Can I try out? And they're like, ooh, not really looking for a girl. And yeah. I was like, oh, boo. They were like <laughs> in the prime of the boy, but like. Yeah, they were. Paradise like, Fears. Yeah. Before you exit. And um, Action I Am. Mark yeah. Shammy went and started a jewelry company. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you know who I'm talking about. Oh, though, yeah, man. no one ever I have knows. no idea. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's so like when great. All Time Low was like yes. the most, they were the biggest things on the face yep. of the earth. Mm -hmm. And We the Kings. We the Kings, yeah, yeah. And, um, oh my gosh, there's another band. Oh, Cute is What We Ain't For. Oh, and the there. Oh my gosh. The flip. I was a big Hinder and Nickelback fan. Nickel, I love Nickelback. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of Nickelback. Hey, they got the like they, they sell out stadiums and arenas. So, like, how can people, who's hating them if they're. Who's liking them? Yeah, going right. To the arenas. I I went like front row Nickelback concert one one year and it was great. I loved it. So <laughs> suck it, people who make. <laughs> so oh, look at this it. graph. Stupid. Look All right. At this, <laughs> look at this giraffe. Look at this giraffe. <laughs> okay, where can everybody follow you? Keep up with everything that you got going on. Yeah. So um, everything I try and keep uniform. Lacey Caroline. Um, it's Lacey with an E. My mother insists that's the correct way to spell it. There you um, go. Also, shoelaces, mm. which, uh, <laughs> um, so I, that was my, 
name that I got teased a lot growing up. Shoelacy. All the time. Shoelacy. Like, when you're little, it, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that just, like, sounds like a lot to say, though. To just nickname someone. I feel like that's a longer name no, than your actual name. It wasn't name. even a nickname. It wasn't like, sup, Shoelacy. Like, like, you're Shoelacy. You're <laughs> Shoelacy. Like, Ew, here comes Shoelacy. Yeah, I was like, ow. She was like a Shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kids are so mean. See, Yeah, kids are so cruel. I used to be called Katie Cow. Cow. Cow like a cow. No. <laughs> I was the kids boy. Kids are so messed up. You were the boy? I could see that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, but you know how everyone's always like, oh, well, there's like the Swifties and the, like, whatever. Yeah, the, the shoe. I'm, the, the I'm shoe lacers. The shoelaces. Yeah, the shoelaces. The shoelaces. That's going to be mine. That, and it's got a cool story behind it. Just call them yeah. the laces. I'm taking the pair. The laces. And then you just have like a <laughs> yeah. bunch and then you can sell shoelaces. Yeah, you should, you should sell some Put shoelaces. Put like little emojis of your face You're on hired. shoelaces. Both of you. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I got you. Branding and marketing. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Yeah. And then do you have a website or anything that they can yep. get Lacey to? LaceyCaroline.com. Instagram at LaceyCaroline. Facebook, LaceyCaroline. Um, yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, yeah, Spotify. Twitter. Spotify is big. Uh, Lacey Caroline. Um, I have the new song coming out there, so spins are awesome. iTunes is really, really cool, too. Um, but yeah, I'm like trying to think of cool. anything else. I, I think, think that's, that's it. I think I mean, that's the extent of the internet. Yeah. Spotify, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah. What else is there? I think Not that's it. Anything yeah. else? Jenna, where can we find you? Come here, Jay Heideman. You can find me at Katie Kalp, <laughs> and you can find both of us at Inside the Noise, noise with a Z on everything, InsideTheNoise.com, all that stuff. Apple um, Podcasts. Yeah. Leave a review. Yeah, make sure you guys are leaving your reviews and all that jazz. Check up on our Instagram for giveaways and all that other stuff. Lacey, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you so much for having me. And hanging. And we will talk to you guys next week.